What's up, guys? Marvelous Mark here. Giant the Lion. Skirt, skirt. And we just got back from watching Alien Covenant. So, uh, what would you think of the movie? Um, what was before this movie? Prometheus, right? Yeah, Prometheus. And that didn't have that many good reviews. I don't think it had any good reviews. It was a really confusing movie. But this one, it continued on that premises. And they developed the story and they cleared it up a bit. But I don't think it was that good of an alien movie. It was it was decent. It set the tone. It was a good horror movie. Like it wasn't really horror, but it had elements of and, horror in and there. And jump scares everywhere. Um but I wasn't feeling the main protagonist at all. She wasn't really a main protagonist. She didn't come until the the final act of the movie, really, as a hero. Um but the alien, the main alien, the black alien, we all know. Um, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't even come into the last part of the movie, but they, they showed the different alien types. But what else? Well, like, okay. The positives for me is we get to see a little bit of James Franco in the beginning. Oh, but and they, James Franco it, was a complete waste. It, you it, can't have James Franco and just have him... It really was. It was. It was a waste. They could have used him more than what they did. He was in there probably for like two minutes, and then he was just gone. He died in a fire inside a pod because something wrong with the ship and the energy. I didn't even know it was James Franco. <laughs> I thought it was a random Indian. Oh. <laughs> that burnt. That's why I laughed. I laughed because I saw him get burnt. If I knew it was James Franco, I wouldn't have laughed. Oh my god! But uh. That was one of my positives, even if it was just for like two minutes. I saw James Franco, but it was also a negative too because it let me down. I wanted to see more with him. Uh, <coughs> the alien for me too. I like the alien, and they showed uh, different types and different species of the aliens. I hate the xenomorphs. Like I'm, I like them, but then I hate them. You know, like I just don't like how they look. And it's just they creep me out, and I oh they just creep me out. Oh yeah, and right here they gave us these. Yeah, just a little pin. But uh, yeah, the alien was good. Like uh, like he said, the protagonist was not good. She didn't like he, he didn't, she didn't come in into the last thirty minutes of the movie, and she beat the alien twice. I don't know how she beat the alien twice. Besides, I don't know. Uh, what? Well, she didn't beat it. The machines that she yeah. used beat it. She just outsmarted the alien really. And there was no. They had a crew of about like thirteen. It was thirteen. 13. And there was no character development with anybody whatsoever. I yep. I don't I don't even know any of their names except one guy Tennessee because it's all they said Tennessee Tennessee <laughs> T T. Oh, and the two um, synths. That's what they are, right? Yeah, the synth yeah. synthetics or something like that. Um, which are Walter and David. Yep. There's some weird stuff going on between <laughs> them. Um, they had a really cringe-worthy scene that would probably go down in a lot of top ten lists. They were blowing on a flute, talking about finger fingers in this and yeah. It was, <coughs> it was really, and there was this one lady. She basically started this whole thing. She would probably go down as one of the most hated people in movies. Oh, the uh, the the blonde chick. It was uh, Tennessee's wife. I forgot yeah. something, because that's how unimportant a lot of people are in this movie. Okay, like it was the captain's uh, wife, and then. Uh, the captain's wife was with another crew member, and he got in infected with some parasite when they're on the uh, the planet. And they take him back to the ship. He's, like, having a seizure and everything. And then there's the blonde chick inside there, too, with the captain's wife. And he's she's freaking out, and she ends up locking the crew member inside there with the guy that's infected. For no reason. There's no explanation yeah. of why she would do that. Like, for nothing. She runs and go gets a gun. She comes back. And does nothing like she she slips and <laughs> she shoots at everything but the the xenomorph she, in the ship. She shoots in the air. That's how it was just dumb. It was just <coughs> man. I think that yeah, that was probably one of the worst things about that movie too. But uh, yeah, uh, Michael Fassbender, he did really good in this movie. I thought he had the most screen time in this movie. He with himself he had more screen time with himself just communicating with himself he had so like it was just really good he had ke character development talking to himself that's what it was basically it that's was really good uh what else the planet everything it was beautiful i loved it the ship too it was it was just amazing too to see that uh 
the different the parasites we saw the xenomorphs we saw the alien and there was a i don't know if there's another name for the the white alien the white type of aliens i don't know if there's another name for that we got to see all those types uh anything else or mm, i think that's it all right so uh what would you rate the movie um <clears throat> on a scale of one to ten i'd give it a five point three that oh my yeah, uh, I give it like a, I'll give it a six. It it was it was good, but it it was, it wasn't that good. Oh, also too, you you said the, from the first Alien movie that they had the iconic scene oh, where the alien busting through the chest. Yeah, from the egg when the xenomorph landed on his face, and uh, that finally the egg hatched and it just came right through his chest. They had it happen in this movie, and that was it was great to see. All right, well, yeah, I gave it a 6. He gave it, what, 5.3? 5.3. All right, guys, well, uh, that's our review. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to leave uh, an icon right down here so you can click. And make sure you like. Smash that like button. And come back and check back.